Considered a child prodigy at the violin, she started playing at only three and a half. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we're speaking with American violinist Rachel Barton Pine who has appeared as a soloist with some of the world's most prestigious orchestras. Tell us about your history with the violin. How and when and why did you choose this instrument? Well, when I was three years old, I saw some middle school age girls playing violin in my church, and they had on the most beautiful long dresses. So I asked my parents for a violin, but I was really intrigued by the sound. So I just started very innocently and fell in love with it right away. All I wanted to do was practice all day. Y you play rock and you play classical music, both? Actually, it wasn't until I was about Mm, 21 years old that I ever tried to play any rock music on the violin. I've been playing this instrument for all my life and listening to rock music, but it never occurred to me to actually play anything other than classical on the violin. And what happened is I was invited to play the national anthem at a Chicago Bulls playoff game in 95. That was, of course, during the Michael Jordan era. Random strangers started coming up to me on the street and saying, hey, I saw you on the Bulls game, and I never realized that that violins were so cool. So that really inspired me that, you know, it's not that some people like classical and some people don't, and that's the end of the story, but that a lot of people probably just haven't been exposed to the potential of what the violin can really do. So that's when I started going on rock radio stations and I would play a little bit of Metallica, Led Zeppelin, and then follow that up with some Paganini or some Ernst, you know, some of the really, you know, like shreddy kinds of things on, from, from classical music and say, hey, you know, why don't you guys check out the concert? And it's, it's really been successful. Now, do you want to tell us a little bit about your violin? This is um, a violin by Guineri del Jesu. Um, Guineri and Stradivari are generally considered to be the two greatest violin makers ever. Many of the old Italian instruments are known as the ex-somebody or another. Usually it's somebody who's no longer alive. Um, it might be somebody who played the instrument or perhaps somebody who owned the instrument. This violin is named the ex-soldat after Marie Soldat who was one of the um, rare 19th century women violin soloists. There weren't that many women um, soloing around in, in that century, but, but she did it. She was discovered as a teenager by Brahms, and he was her mentor um, through the rest of his life. They played chamber music together very frequently, and Brahms himself picked this one. So it sounds fabulous in any repertoire, but it sounds particularly perfect in the music of Brahms. It's amazing to think that actually if Marie Soldat was playing this violin and doing chamber music with Brahms, it means that my violin got to jam with Brahms. <laughs> 